Welcome back to Duda Dojo, your source for the latest Duda news, platform how-tos, and product updates. I'm Matt Scroggs, and this week, several members of the Rival Mind creative team sat down to talk about the benefits of building websites of all shapes and sizes in Duda. So let's listen in. Alexis and Haley, um, today we're going to talk about some of our different types of website packages that we offer at Rival Mind. So we offer anything from like the starter package, so a six page website up to a really complex strategized website. And I want to dig in there. Haley, recently you've been really working through quite a few of these strategized websites that we've been trying to produce for our clients. Mm -hmm. um, Talk to me about that experience and what has it been like trying to interpret the site map, the strategy, and then build that into the Duda system? Yeah, so each one, it's going to vary depending on that unique client's goals for their website and everything. Um, but starting off from seeing it as just a site map mm -hmm. to doing our process of the style tiles and it just being a couple ideas we have for design and mm -hmm. then seeing it become a fully fledged worked out website is really an, a, a huge achievement. Yeah, these yeah. websites generally are much bigger. There's more complexity, yeah. more details, more nuances to them. Even mm -hmm. we get to, you know, <clears throat> spend a little bit more time on unique uh, functionality and design with this. So I actually want to look at one of those today. Uh, so I am looking at a just kind of high level view of a site map. So this is what a strategized website might look like. You have your homepage. We've got all those different sections within there structured uh, or planned out. And then we have our primary pages. And then we kind of go over to the finished product. So um, FTC Ori Group, this is a beautiful website that we recently finished. Haley, this Yay. is one of your projects. <laughs> yes. Yes, it turned out gorgeous. What was the experience like working that strategy into this website in the Duda system? Mm -hmm. Like, did you find those tools easy to use? Yeah, Duda is super easy to use. Um, it's uh, very user friendly. And so obviously there's a lot of research and planning mm -hmm. that goes into the site map. And so um, there's a lot of planning that goes into the layout and development of the actual site and the complexity of the design. Yeah, because your previous design experience was a little bit what I call old school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where you take, you you yeah, build the concept I, and you pass it off to a developer to code it. Right. Yeah. And I would see a lot of like changes after handing it over to the mm. developer. Like, so they didn't exactly do it the way yeah. you exactly. yeah. got to cut out the middleman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Miscommunications mm -hmm. and functionality and stuff. And so with our process of doing it through Duda, I really have a lot of control and be not only the designer, but the developer. And I can kind of nip those things like functionality issues in the butt right away and yeah. um, manipulate it to like how I intended it to yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it turns yeah. out to be just the perfect product. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. And then you recently finished a basic website. Mm -hmm. So this is a website that isn't strategized. Fewer pages, but still at least 20, 25, 30 pages. Yeah. Um, a custom design, always a rival mine, custom mm -hmm. shop here. Talk to us about what was it like to work on Wagon Paddle? Wagon Paddle, they were so fun. Mm -hmm. I think just even as a client, like they were so receiving of like everything that we gave them. And I think that... Uh, their website was just already so playful, mm -hmm. but in like the idea of like being able to play with their colors or yeah. like give them fun, like graphic elements behind like these beautiful images of the dogs that they take care of every day yeah. was just so fun. Did you find this to be a little bit easier than a strategized project? Definitely a more simple, mm -hmm. um, but still like, you know, there were bumps in the road, things mm -hmm. is that had to be changed. Mm -hmm. um, for example, like the wave that they have in their uh, hero section, yeah. that they wanted that a little bit like slowed down. So yeah. I had to go make that change. Let's let's look at that. Yeah, yeah so uh, the homepage, obviously so big, bold <laughs> message, so fun. And yeah. then as you start to scroll down, I mean, lovely colors. Mm -hmm. um, you see, obviously, the fun dogs here. I know this was a ton of fun to work on. Mm -hmm. um, so the functionality in Duda, was this useful for you based on some of your previous experience? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it was definitely important to go into it, you know, with a more like creative eye. Yeah. And uh, not Feel saying it's not restricted yeah, by not the strategy. Yeah, not saying it's not serious yeah. or professional. It's yeah. still very professional, yeah. but it was just much more laid back. Yeah. Yeah. And then recently you and I finished a project that hasn't launched yet, but mm. it's a starter package or internally the, the squiz. We like to call them the squibby websites. Yes. Um, so talk to me about that. What was the value of you producing just a 
an efficient short website like that yeah so compared to the basic um it's still like on that more simple level but it's definitely smaller mm -hmm. about six pages mm -hmm. and we just take what kind of they already have we don't add any you know it still looks very nice laid out wise but yeah. it's not as complex and as we get to do that quickly in the duda system yes yeah so just grab and go type of situation Bang it out, section, and, by, section by section yeah mm -hmm. i mean a couple weeks depending on the client yeah. a month and we've got a live website so yeah. mm -hmm. um do you guys have any like further insight into what it's been like to work in duda at rival mind is there anything that's been really like i know eye opening or awakening for you mm -hmm. I just think it's super user friendly. Mm -hmm. Like I both Alexis and I, I don't think had any Duda experience no. prior to coming yeah. here. And yeah. so, it, you know, you would think it would be a huge learning curve for both of us to learn a completely new CMS. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, it's so user friendly. I feel like we both learned it. We just super jumped fast right in. And yeah. Yeah. Now we're able to like manipulate it to be how we're wanting how it we, to yeah, be. And, very customizable. Yeah. Know exactly where to go for certain things. So yeah. efficient. Yeah. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. And simple. And simple. And easy. Yes. And easy. Yeah, That's you great. <laughs> I can't get better than that. Uh, you guys have been doing some really amazing work. I can't wait to see what you do more. You're both very artistic, creative. Um, as you continue to learn the system more, we all kind of learn and grow together. Mm -hmm. So thanks for coming today and talking with me about this. Um, it was great to have you. And then let's just see what we can keep doing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Well, that's all we have today. If you're looking for additional Duda tutorials or product updates, visit our YouTube channel. And don't forget to drop a comment if there's a specific tutorial you'd like us to cover in the future. I'm Jessica. This is Duda Dojo. We'll see you next time.